And at this time, Coach Stroud would like to take a few moments to express his appreciation to those who have been meaningful to him on his journey as a college baseball coach. First of all, always, I want to give praise and glory to my Lord and Savior for all the blessings that He's given me in my life. That being said, He has blessed me with a lot of great people through the years on and off the field. Um, obviously, uh, a coach can't be a coach as long as I have and not have family support. And I just want to, first of all, thank my family who's over here in the red and black camo for all you've put up with over the years. And I've had great administrators that gave me opportunities to coach. And I've had, um, uh, obviously, players, which I'll talk about in a moment, assistant coaches, trainers, managers, all those, but even some umpires along the way, guys, uh, that I, believe it or not, got to be friends with and have a lot of respect for. And the colleagues in my coaching profession, uh, college baseball has some outstanding coaching uh, gentlemen who are men of character, like my friends at, at Clemson, and I appreciate them and all the other coaches that I've gotten to be close to over the years. People ask you uh, what you remember the most. And I got to tell you, um, what I remember the most over the years is not that I've had those wins they mentioned. Uh, it's not that I've uh, this right arm has thrown over or close to two million batting practice pitches in all those years. It's not that I've put twelve thousand crosses at third base when I'm coaching third base uh, during each game every inning. Uh, when I think back, uh, we've had exciting wins, crushing losses, you remember all that. But I can tell you 100% what I remember the most. If I would have stayed turned facing that way, I would have been just fine. It, it's you. And it's what all you guys did for me all those years together. Um, when you start thinking back about what we stood for and our standards, um, we were a brotherhood. At every college and high school that I coached at, you guys were a brotherhood. So the one thing you all have in common is you're part of the seven brotherhood, even though you were maybe at eight different schools. And I can tell you that uh, what brought me to the field each day was not my love of baseball, which was strong, but was my love of you. And your enthusiasm and your willingness to follow and your willingness to give everything you had every day. And you guys know, especially my current players, it's not just about baseball. I love talking to you. I was allowed to be a 18 to 22 year old for the last 33 years because that's what I was around every day. So I can't thank you enough for that and for believing in the programs that we had. Um, it was a brotherhood, but I was never really as much of the leader as I was just the oldest brother. And I still am now, although it looks like some of you are about to catch me, um, the way it's working. I, I just want to challenge you and, and tell you guys this, that you know I cared about you as baseball players, but I care about you more and the, the kind of men you've become um, in terms of uh, taking care of your family, being good husbands, being good fathers, being great members of your community and your churches, and being men of faith and representing me the way you do. People talk about legacies all the time and what legacy a coach will leave. And I will tell you it's not about the wins and it's not about the awards. My legacy is right here. And the kind of guys that you are will always be my legacy. And um, I'm forever proud of you for that. And I, my challenge to you guys is that you, that you seize every day to be the best man you can be. Because when the sand in that hourglass runs out, you can't flip it to start over. You start today, and you continue to be the best man that you can be, and that's how you honor my legacy. I wish God's blessings to all of you, and, and thank you for this day, and I, I wish my blessings to my brothers here as part of the brotherhood. 1 Corinthians 15.10 says, I am what I am by the grace of God, and I feel that more than ever today. In the last few weeks, people have asked me what my greatest moment in college coaching is. And I will tell you without a doubt, my greatest moment in college coaching is happening right now. Thank you and God bless you.